Okay, so good morning, students. It's a pleasure to really address your class. Welcome to International Law of the Seas class session. Well, um, I'm most happy to teach you um, the law of the seas. This is Henrietta Newton Martin with you. We'll be having around eight sessions altogether. The subject I've divided it into um, eight chapters. And it's quite an interesting subject, and I just hope that you really enjoy this class. We're going to learn um, a very interesting, um, you know, aspect of the law of the seas and how uh, the international waters, the seas, how they are regulated. What are the laws pertaining pertaining to it? Now, in the form of introduction, the international law of the sea is basically a set of, you know, customs and uh, treaties that are, you know, enforced in the international arena. Okay, regulating peace and order in the international community with matters that pertain to the sea. Now, before we move further, just a few tips regarding this class and what is actually necessary for you about, you know, for you to participate in this class and for you to really abide by certain rules of this class. Uh, I, I really appreciate that all of you, I, I mean, whoever has joined the class, you'll have joined in time. I highly appreciate that. And I like my students to join on time. Um, next is um, just, you know, by way of a protocol that I always uh, repeat this in every class is, uh, this is a, for every first session is you have to attend the class on time. And there is a buffering of five minutes. That is, I would give you five minutes to, you know, enter the class. You know, probably you have some technical difficulty, so I would allow that. So maximum, it would be, you know, after the five minutes, you know, takes off. So, you know, we'll start the class. And then uh, I extend the buffering to 10 minutes that it al allows students to enter the class. So after that, I may not permit students to enter the class. However, in my discretion, in case I allow it also, attendance will not be granted. Now, for, uh, uh, you know, the attendance, uh, for you to gain attendance, you know, you'll have to be for the entire session. Those who come in after 10 minutes will not be granted any attendance. So that's one thing. Next is about your uh, assignments are already posted online and uh, that is in your Google Classroom and you will have to submit it on time. On time submission is highly um, encouraged. There should be no plagiarism, just reiterating whatever uh, I have already mentioned there uh, in the assignment section of your classroom. Uh, so, uh, you know, plagiarism is, you know, highly forbidden. In fact, I would not encourage that. You will have to write minimum 2,000 words. You know, the essay has to be minimum 2,000 words. That means you will have to write at least 2,000 and more maybe, but it has to be at least 2,000 words, but not less. So again, you'll have negative marking in case it goes below 2,000. Next is, um, please do not, uh, you know, uh, just to cut, copy, and paste the university's logo on your assignments. It's not really required because, um, I mean, uh, I would not go into the legal aspect of all those things, but I normally do not prefer anyone using the logo of, you know, the university or even some other company cutting, copying, pasting. No, 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 that's, that's not encouraged. Well, now coming back to this class, I was talking about international law of the sea. Today, we'll be dealing with the first chapter. In case you have any questions, you can ask me, you know, at the end of the class, we'll have some time there. And at the end of the class, you can ask me any questions. And yeah, yet another thing is after the class, you know, um, I will be uploading the recording in your Google Classroom. You'll also have, you know, the copy of the PPT that has been presented during this class. And also I'll be giving you some notes. So this is just a pattern every week. Yet another thing is, again, before I forget, there will be no changes regarding the timing of this class now that it is already settled. So um, let me admit the student. Excuse me. Okay. So there will be no uh, changes in the timing. However, anytime if the class is canceled, you will be intimated in advance or at least on the day of the class, just give me one hour before the class. I mean, in the rarest of the rare circumstances, but normally it doesn't happen. Okay, so even if you do not get any further intimation of the class, the Zoom link, 
please be ready to join the class in the same link that you are provided the same time every week. Okay, so that's it. So going back to the subject, um, again, international law of the sea is quite an interesting subject. You're going to learn about the international waters, which is distinct from the internal waters of any country or any state. Now, what is what are the internal waters? Internal waters, for example, um, like the rivers, you know, the rivers, lakes. So these comprise of internal waters of any country. Now. Now, international law of the seas, it has drawn a demarcation or it has, you know, really differentiated between internal waters and external waters or the waters that are beyond the territory of that particular state party or that particular country. Let us go through our slides and I'll explain to you what it is. Just a moment. Oh, uh uh, so, well, we began the class with history, and I'd like to reiterate the entire session, whatever we have been discussing. So, uh, we in today's class, we're going to talk about the history of the development of the law, and that's what we have discussed so far, and I'm going to reiterate it. We are going to talk about the international law of the sea. So what is this international law of 